Space Coast to Chal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park news update. Where today we've got an article from Sharecast because Brighton Peer Group in West Sussex have put the five million, well, stretching five million pound bid in, and they've bought Lightwater Valley. All the shares in Lightwater Valley are theirs. It's part of their continued expansion to be one of the top leisure operators in the UK, and we're going to be sharing statements from Sharecast's article on this news. So, before we get started, guys, please like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts about this. Are we going to see major investment in Lightwater Valley in the future? I'm sure we'll find out. Also, subscribe the channel guys click the coach bar so you don't the video we're on the road to 3,000 subs by the end of the year we want to get to 4k um, arguably but um, currently we're on the road to 3k let's keep up the pace on that let's go on the road to 4k as soon as possible uh, and get this road to 3k over and done with let's try and get to 3k and then we'll get on the road to 4k also guys check the description down below for social media links the article link and the google forms link go and check out the other videos from today three videos analyzing three different intermin launch coaster concepts and for now guys let's have a look at exactly what's going on with lightwater valley because they have a new owner so according to sharecast news the article course linked in the description down below the leisure operator brighton pier group has acquired an entire share capital of Lightwater Valley attractions announced on today uh, for a consideration of up to five million pounds in cash. Uh, now, uh, it said the transaction were expected to be immediately earnings accretive after completion. Of course, Lightwater Valley Attractions and owns and operates Lightwater Valley. Of course, Livingstone Leisure uh, were the owners there. Uh, set in 175 acres of landscape parkland with rides, amusements, crazy golf, outdoor children's play and indoor play, entertainment, numerous food and drink and retail offerings. Also, Frightwater Valley, Alice in Winterland events. Uh, now, obviously, financially, it's been a bit interesting, but Brighton Pier Group said the restrictions imposed by the pandemic uh, were gradually lifted. Uh, the board was confident that Lightwater Valley's trading would resume to normalised levels in the short term. And the board believes the extensive space at Lightwater Valley provided a long-term growth opportunity for the group to develop and expand the park. Uh, and also the Chief Executive Officer, Anne Ackford, said, I believe we can develop Lightwater Valley into the premier amusement destination across Yorkshire and the surrounding areas. Uh, the acquisition continues the company's development as the consolidator with in the leisure industry and they're excited to explore further growth opportunities as they arise. Uh, now, obviously, uh, ACFA said the two businesses were ideally suited to take advantage of pent-up demand as the UK lifted its restrictions. So Brighton Pier Group definitely have an inspiration to expand the property, expand the group, but also expand the theme park uh, to introduce long-term growth and long-term expansional attractions. So it's very exciting to hear that from Brighton Pier Group, and I'm very excited now for the future of Lightwater Valley's theme park because it's been very, very rough uh, over the last few years. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of all ages. Lightwater Valley has been sold to the Brighton Pier Group for an estimated around £5 million. Uh, now, am I happy about this news? You bet your backside I'm excited about this news because the long-term expansion is what they are believed to be. You know, that's one of the reasons why they love this place. That's one of the reasons why they bought it. You know, the, the, the site, you know, is room for long-term expansion and long-term growth. And, you know, Brighton Pier Group definitely... Do have a plan in place i'm sure they'll have a beautiful plan in place to uh, expand lightwater valley's vast array of attractions and i'm sure they're going to be d uh, doing a really good job with lightwater valley i'm sure that this will be an ownership where uh this will be a, a fantastic way of keeping the park going keeping the attractions going maintaining attractions doing the right kind of maintenance on attractions and also bring that family aspect to the park and i think that you know it's not just a kids park now anymore it'll be it, i think brighton peer group will turn it back into a family and kids park rather than just a kids park which is what the direction that we're going in anyway tearing down some of the um, thrill rides and bringing in kids rides in this new go safari area which to be honest the new go safari area looks good it looks a good area uh, but it was turning into what american adventure was like in its last year or two it was like a, ki a kids park and financially you know i didn't think it was going to survive on that so it was great to see brighton pier group buy the park today uh, announce the buy of the park and you know it's been going on i'm sure behind the scenes over the last few months so uh, very excited for like water valley and it's future but comment down below what your thoughts are on this my name is coach shell keatley on the coast live and i'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have a light water valley tastic day comment down below what you think this is for the ultimate is this the future of ultimate returning who knows